Hey everyone, welcome to week one of 2019. Yes, I could have recorded myself in front of the camera like I normally do, but I didn't feel like staging everything behind me. I've got jury duty tomorrow. I just want to take 10 quick minutes and talk a little bit about how to generate momentum going into 2019, how to start the year the right way, and maybe give you three or four quick thoughts on what you can be doing right now to generate income. And I'm not going to talk today about buying leads or spending money, but what you can do for free. This is the time of year when so many agents look around for that new super secret way to make lots of money quickly. And I'll be pushing out another video in the next two days that outlines several great methods to lay out a game plan to succeed in some prospecting strategies. But today, I want to go back to the basics of what you need to do right now. I have a couple of really quick ideas that I hope will help you generate momentum quickly to make this your best year ever. First of all, if you're sitting around the office doing nothing, or worse, sitting around your living room staring at the television pining about the future, you've got to take some action right away. You've got time. It's January. So use that time wisely. Find a way where you're going to connect with people and start asking for help one way or another. Now, I usually start uh, by suggesting your sphere of influence, your social network, the people who like and trust you. And for those of you who are experienced agents, that includes your past clients. And hey, don't turn off the video. Stay away from that uh, button on your mouse. I know you've heard all this before, but I'm going to give you something new. And by the way, let me segue into two great ways to keep in touch with your social network and your past clients. One of the best items we send out, and a lot of you are doing this every year, magnetic calendars to our past clients. Now, this is a cost. They run about 30 cents a piece. But I can't tell you how many people every year call me after 10 years, a uh, long time after we sold them a house, and they'll call to list with us because they see us every day on the refrigerator. It generates a lot of referrals. The other really interesting new tool for free that clients are going crazy over is the Zap Home Value Update. Uh, you can do this for your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, and every past client. When you sell a home, you simply add the client into Zap, plug in their address, and click Home Value Update, and the software is going to send out an alert to everyone, to your client every time a new listing comes on the market in the neighborhood or any time a home sells. Even if they just purchased last Thursday, they want to know what's happening to, with homes in the neighborhood, what they're going for. And it's a non-intrusive tool that does it for them, keeps you top of mind, keeps you in front of them, and they really like it. In fact, if you have time, I'd start compiling a list of emails of every single person you know and start plugging them into a home watch for their houses. They love it. Now, let me show you a quick example of this. I'm in Zap right now, and I pull down the menu that says Add. I'm going to add a new contact, and let me see who I can add off the top of my head. I'll add my mom. So I'm going to put in Jerry Keim with her email address. I've added the client. took about 10 seconds. And it's going to come up with, do you want to send them a welcome email? I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not trying to get them to work with me as a buyer. Once I get to the next screen, I'm going to pull down the more button. And you can always go back and slow this video down. I'm going to sign in as the contact. And it's going to open another window. Now, she hasn't looked at any houses yet. So I'm going to plug in her address. I plug her address in. I search Century 21, it says off market. You can see that up here. It's not on the market. I'm logged in as me, and her house is right here. Now, down here at the bottom, it says get home value updates. All I have to do is click on that, and that is going to send her something every time a new listing comes on the market in her neighborhood, and every time there's a sale in her neighborhood. And it's something that people really love. They're really impressed with it. Now, let me come back to this a second, where we were. I apologize for the delay. And again, if you have time, I'd compile a list of every person you know and start plugging them into that home watch for their houses. They absolutely love it. And by the way, you're building a database. We've proven that this leads some of them to eventually search for homes on your personal website, because that's what it brings it back to. Rather than them going out to Zillow and being redirected to another realtor somewhere who pays for the lead. And honestly, if you're sitting in the office for half an hour 
on floor time or you've got nothing to do and you don't have an appointment, how hard is it to go through your Gmail contact list or your Yahoo contact list or check out your friends on Facebook and just sign them up to receive updates on what's happening directly in their neighborhood? It's a powerful tool. Now back to the free part of our conversation. Uh, pick up the phone every day and call a few of them every day. It's really easy. Hey, John, I'm just checking in to see how you're doing. How's the family? Or you can say something like, hey, did you set any goals for 2019? They might tell you their goal is to build, a, to buy a bigger house or to uh, possibly buy some investment properties. Or maybe you can be more direct. Hey, John, I'm just uh, trying to plan out my next couple of weeks after the holidays. Things are picking up, and I'm trying to figure out who I need to connect with. Do you know anybody who might be planning to move this year? Or someone who's planning to start investing in real estate. A lot of my clients are starting to buy investment properties. That's something you can do just to reconnect. Because you've got time. Use that time and connect with people already like and trust you. Step two is to go back through your calendar from last year. Take a look at who saw properties with you and didn't buy anything. And who did you do listing presentations for that didn't list? Follow up with them. Some of them are now ready to move, so reconnect with them. That's the first thing you should be doing right now. In fact, while you've got Zap open, remember that every lead router or Zap lead that comes to you automatically goes in your Zap account, and you haven't even looked there in the last two months, have you? Look over the list and try calling them. Some of them didn't buy last year, and some of them may be ready to move now. No, Lauren, I don't want to call people who already called me and see if they want to buy now. I'd much rather spend $80 a piece on a Zillow lead. No, seriously, take the time to go back over your list. And one final thought for this uh, quick little update today on free marketing. Take time every morning to figure out how you're going to connect with those in your database. You might send out a mass email to everyone in your database talking about uh, what you expect the market to do in 2019. You might go on Facebook and subtly remind people that you're in real estate and you really need their help. You can even go to your personal Zap site, pick a listing or two. Let me do that too. You have got Facebook open. Go to your Zap site, your personal one, so that your face is up here no matter who the uh, listing is listed by. And click on this little F button. And when you do that, it's going to create an ad and it's going to share it on your Facebook page. Isn't that great? And by the way, when people click on that ad because it uh, entices them to check it out, it takes them to your Zap site to search, not to Zillow. And people find out very quickly that this is a better search than Zillow is. It's more comprehensive. It allows them to really search a lot of uh, information. And hopefully we can get more and more people to use it. We even on uh, our sites, if you haven't seen it yet, we pull up our website. We've got lots of articles, and you can share those as well. How uh, baby boomers can live a, a little. Steps to buying a house, making your house feel like a home. Why don't you open an article like this, and then over here, this leads them back to your site. You can click on the little F button, and that's going to lead them directly to your site. And it'll put that on your Facebook page, lead them back to your site. So... Uh, again, in the next two days, we're going to have the answer to the question, how do I make more money? I'm going to go through a lot of that, but that's going to be more like a 45 minute conversation. Remember that there are only two ways to grow income. As we go into 2019, there's only two ways you can grow income. Number one is by generating more leads. Number two is by converting a greater percentage of those leads that you get, either by a great follow-up system or by doing a better job presenting yourself than the competition. And we can make gen we can uh, generate leads a number of ways, but the main three ways we do it are either by proactively going after likely buyers and sellers. You can make phone calls or knock on doors. You can call expired listings or for sale by owners, or anybody who's a likely person who has to sell, people in probate, uh, estates, people who are going into bankruptcy. Those are all likely clients. Or the second way is to pay for business, either up front by paying for Zillow leads or buying zip codes, or over time by doing paid online marketing. Or we can build strong relationships. That's the third way to build business. And while real estate is a relationship game, it takes time to build those connections. And many of us need money right now, so we've got to consider 
whether we're going to start making calls this week, whether we're going to be knocking on doors, or whether we're going to step back and do other ways of going after business. And again, we'll be talking about that in the next video. So I look forward to seeing you again in uh, the next day, and keep it up.